Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some new Ghirardelli. These are limited edition Ghirardelli chocolate squares. We have the white chocolate sugar cookie, the milk chocolate gingerbread. And mine are the milk chocolate mint cookie. These were $5.29 at Target, and I want to give a shout out to Aaron. I don't think Aaron will ever watch this video. We'll have a clue about this video, but I want to give him a shout out because mm -hmm. what happened was, we looked at the app, and the app, the Target app, said that these were at Target. These An owl, whatever. They even get, yes, they gave the owl. We went to that owl. Guess what? They Halloween. were not there. It's um, the Halloween stuff. Halloween stuff was out. And so Aaron was walking around in that area, and he was busy, and I stopped him. And um, I said, hey, they, the app says these are out. I said, if, if they're, and they're not out. And I said, if I were to, order these because you can order it for pickup i said if i were to order these for pickup would somebody have to because there were boxes sitting there they were getting ready to, they were getting ready to put the christmas stuff out and i said would somebody have to go through these boxes and find these for me to pick up and he said yes if they could find them if they could find them so he proceeded for the next what 20 minutes probably 15 20 minutes yeah. to look through Hundreds and hundreds of boxes. Back, back in the back, yeah. Yeah, back in the back to find these for me. Yeah. So it was greatly appreciated. He went out of his way. Um, didn't He didn't know me from Adam, and he did that for me just because mm -hmm. he's, you know, working for Target, and, and that was, he uh, enjoys his yeah. job. Yeah. So I appreciate that. It's good because I bet you if you ordered that online, they would just say they didn't have them yet, and then yeah. that would have went. That would have been it. They wouldn't have actually. Looked. I don't think they would have actually looked where. They might have, but I don't think so because they're busy. They they're don't... they're busy. They have things to do. They got things to pick up for other people. They yes, they don't have time. Twenty minutes looking for your chocolate. It smells good in the house. Smells wonderful. Okay, you get uh, for five twenty nine. You are getting four servings of three squares. Um, 180 calories. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, four servings, three squares. Three squares are 180 calories. Okay, that's not bad at all. No. Um, but they're just white chocolate. The they are white chocolate sugar cookie. I didn't see any green sprouts. Mine was a little red. Mm. That would a good bit of flavor though. Yeah, see, they're all red. Mm -hmm. Green ones. No, there's one little green one on the back. That's wonderful flavor, though. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of a really good sugar cookie. It reminds me of a really good Christmas cookie. Yeah. So not just a plain sugar cookie that has that flowery kind of flavor that I hate. No, but there are packages of Christmas cookies you get that have those red and green sprinkles mm -hmm. on them. And that's what that tastes like. Yeah, it's, very really, it's, it's very, very sweet. It's creamy chocolate. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. no, I can't really imagine and not liking that mm -hmm. unless you just don't like white chocolate. Yeah, and there's no like funky aftertaste or anything like that. You might get in something. Uh, the white chocolate's really nice. It's very sweet. Very creamy. I won't dump them all out this time. Uh, these are the milk chocolate gingerbread. From bean to bar, our commitment to ultimate quality. Uh, this uh, four and a half servings mm -hmm. in the container. Three squares are 170 calories. Really don't want to see It's like little cookies or something in there. Thank you. Yeah, there's little uh, little crunchy pieces. It looks like. And it smells like gingerbread. Definitely has the gingerbread tea things or flavoring. To me, it tastes like ginger. Mm hmm. It's very strong ginger. Ginger and chocolate. Yeah, I agree. They're good though. I don't mm -hmm. like that flavor because it's not like a, it's ginger, but it's not like a burn your throat kind of ginger. No, but it is. It's right there. It's strong. <laughs> I personally really, really like that. If you've had ginger, and sometimes it is too strong. This is literally like right up to the edge because yeah. once you sh swallow it and it settles in, it's still left. It, well, and it is tingling my throat. Oh, really? I don't get any tingle, but. But 
I love it. I think it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would get those it's again good. and again. It's more, like you said, it's more ginger than gingerbread. Yes. Although I do get that little bit of a, a molasses-y kind of dark, uh, sweet kind of flavor. You do mm -hmm. get that, that you would normally have with gingerbread. I, I like I said I like these a lot, mm -hmm. um, but you need to like ginger yeah, yeah, to like enjoy ginger. those. Okay, now the mint. The mint could go many ways. I'm glad it's in milk chocolate though. I am too, and not dark chocolate. I am too. Um, so many times they automatically put it in dark chocolate, and it's like just like with orange. What about those people that like milk chocolate? I wonder if they do an orange with chocolate. I hope if Gar if anyone from Ghirardelli is watching this video, which I know they're not, but if they were to, if they ever do orange and chocolate, I hope they do it in milk chocolate because milk chocolate and orange is awesome. Um, this is the mint milk chocolate mint cookie. Four and a half servings in the container, three squares, 170 calories. And they have a little cookie pieces in them. Really can't see much difference in the front. That tastes like those um, thin mint cookies a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's got that underlying like a darker cookie, almost like an Oreo kind of flavor. But that's not the main flavor. The main flavor is definitely the chocolate mint. It would remind you of a Girl Scout cookie. Mm -hmm. The thin mint Girl Scout cookie. Yeah. Um, more, but, cho more chocolatey. I was going to say, but... <laughs> It's creamier chocolate. It's it's better chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, this is better. Oh yeah. Um, this is better than those cookies. And great value. Walmart has their own brand. I'm sure Kroger has their own brand uh, of those thin mint cookies. But that it, that you do get little cookie pieces mm -hmm. in there. Um, where what sets this apart is the chocolate because mm -hmm. it's just better quality chocolate. and the mint's nice i like the mint the mint's not um too pasty or anything no, like that it's not a very at all. nice and it's not mint. too strong yeah, yeah it actually like if you feel like it's fresh in your breath but like then a... you, yes exactly but then you got that nice chocolate flavor mm -hmm. um, nice. very nice there i like those so much better than i thought i would mm -hmm. especially since they put them in milk chocolate mm -hmm. That that was a smart decision. Yeah, if they made it if dark chocolate, it would have been probably too dark for me. But you, and I do like mint and dark chocolate. I do, but this I like this so much more. Yeah. Um, my pick would be the sugar cookie though, um, like a Christmas cookie, whatever. My pick's gonna be the gingerbread. Really? I like the strong ginger. Yeah. You've always liked ginger though. I, I really do like the strong ginger. Um, I think my order, gosh. Probably depends on what day it is, what my order is going to be, because it depends on what kind of a mood you're in. Yeah. You know, because a lot of times, we've said it many times before, we have to be in a mood for mint. You don't want mint all the time. So, just for every day, I'll probably go with the sugar cookie next, but honestly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these either. No, nothing's wrong with any of them, but I'd probably just go in the order we try them. Okay. Yeah. Well... All of these are great. I hope you can find them at your target. I'm, I'm sure they'll be at an end cap once, <laughs> once they get the, um, that's where they were supposed to be, wasn't yeah, it? Like, really on an end cap. No, they were in the Oh, well, they were we in and thought, out? We thought, are they going to be on an end cap? But that's they, right. But they weren't. They that's were just, right. They were going to be in an F29 or 39 or something like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.